Hello my friends, it's Barry, I'm back. I am on the way to the shop to check out the process of wood graining that's going on on the dash of the 38 Zephyr. And I'm happy to bring you along and we'll see what we can learn about the process and how, it's, how that project's going. Everything about wood graining. Thanks for coming along. Yeah, this is a stage that kind of gets overlooked. Um, kind of gives you a sense of the, the breadth of what we have to do because just doing the dash is only a part of the, the, pro the uh, project. We also have, the, this is the windshield trim, okay. inside garnish for the windshield. These are for the doors. Okay, and the, yeah. are these called garnish moldings? Or are yes, they just th these are gar all garnish moldings. Okay, all right. all right. That's their technical name back in the day. Mm -hmm. If you notice, um, Tony had to build this special container rack so that he could have access to everything including around the corner and around the corner here. It's kind of like a painting jig maybe? Exactly, even? exactly right. right. So now he's got to go through this. You can notice you notice at first he white metal stripped them, primed yeah. them, and now he's got to that's what that foggy look is. That's that's the guide coat. So when he sands it, that'll tell you what the highs and lows are mm -hmm. and uh, allow you to get a nice flat surface. And here I'm seeing that it's held in in the channel inside exactly, so that exactly he can get to everything. Right, that's because we do a number of these. So that's an advantage that accrues to the cars that we work on because we don't have to reinvent all this stuff for every car. It's right. already been done, it's already been perfected. We've already done it. And if you saw in the 38 and 39 that we did this in this manner, you can see that the results are really worth it. I mean, it transforms the inside of the car. It right. really does. Right. It, like we talked about earlier, the factory just didn't have a lot of input on the dash, either that or the guy that did it was was uh, drinking a lot. I'm not sure what his problem was, <laughs> but it's just an awful right. finish. It just doesn't make any sense in the context of the rest of the car. So and it's one of the areas we decided to uh, upgrade, and it's, it's period correct to wood grain. Mm -hmm. So if you if you notice, we got the waterfall face here, and this is in the prime condition with the with the uh, a fog coat of lacquer on it, so he can mm -hmm. s quickly sand them. Then he'll put his color coat which is in this particular instance is kind of a red brown. Okay. Okay, and then the green coat, where, where this is where you see the detail, is mm -hmm. a very dark red, almost to the almost to the black. Okay. And now that has to be applied and they have to wait for that to dry. And then you put a then you wash a coat of clear over everything because that's what you're going to be sanding. Can't sand through to the graining because it destroys it. Right. So it's a very fine balance when you're doing wood graining that you get uh, the, the right colors, the right depth, but that you also put a lot of clear on it so, such that you can go back into it and, and color sand and buff it without going through it and into the graining itself. Right, okay. And of course the new uh, uh, two stage paints that they have allow us to put on a, a, a very large amount of, um, of clear so that when we're sanding it we can do we can get rid of some of the imperfections without sanding through it. And in the old days, you had to use lacquer. Lacquer we had put 50 coats on it, and it really wasn't stable. Right, this new okay. stuff is catalyzed, and it'll last a long, long time. So it's a, really a boon to what we're doing. But right. all these little things have to be attended to. There's nothing dumber than seeing a dash that's been wood grain or, or garnish rails, and yeah. then the rest of the car isn't. So yes, yeah, so you've got all the interior all pieces All of these here, interior huh? pieces that are right up next to or on the dash have to all be done in the same manner and in order for it to be correct. And to remind people, there are two gloved box doors. That's correct. And there are two ashtrays. That is correct. And there and are... You uh, notice in this one here, <laughs> this one has some rust through. Okay. Okay, so that's going to have to be remedied. Okay. Okay, we'll just solder that up and, and sand it. Mm -hmm. But that's the only one in this group that still has a little bit of, of necessary effort. And um, when we do this, we, we cherry pick from three different uh, groups okay. of trim from three different 38s in this instance. And we're going to pick out the Get best the stuff. Best pieces, yeah. Because it, it takes the least amount of time. Mm -hmm. If you don't have but one of everything, or mm -hmm. even worse, you're missing something, right. it really puts you in a big crack. So that's why we've aggregated all of these parts and categorize them, mm -hmm. and if you look up on the wall, you see clearly that the 38 stuff has been segregated and kept with the uh, 38 stuff and the 39 stuff is, is ordered 
and in a place where we can go look at look up at the wall and say, okay, I got. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a conversation about this this waterfall, for instance, yesterday. Right. And I said, just get the best one you have, mm -hmm. and we'll restore that one. We could have got the worst one, because uh, a lot of times that's what you want to do. But that's for my cars. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, for the customer cars, we're going to take the best thing we have because it just gets us there quicker. Yep. And uh, and and sp spend less time and less money doing it. You know, one thing I want to mention. At a glance, I thought these were the kick panels by the doors, but these are actually on either side of that waterfall, aren't exactly. they? Exactly, and if you notice, the way you can tell an eight or a nine is it has this slotted hole in it. Right and for the there shifter. Are, remember the 37 has a similar arrangement, yep. but it doesn't have this because the shifter was in front of the waterfall. I see. So if you see one of these, do not hesitate. If you see one of these at swap meet, Grab it. Grab it. Don't even look <laughs> at the price because it's only it's only present in a 38 and 39 Zephyr. Very good. So very rare. So. Well, so I'm that's that's our process, and then we're going to go over and look at where yeah, we're, we're at. Yeah, we're going to go look at the dash, see yes. how it's doing. Exactly. The first thing you might notice is that there's a bit of orange peel on the uh, the clear coat because we had to put uh, several coats of clear on it to get enough depth to be able to color sand and buff it, and those. <clears throat> that orange peel and a tiny bit of dust or something is going to be sanded off and then this whole thing has to be very carefully polished with very small polishers obviously we can't get in here with a giant buffer uh, all this is, is very specific to this particular application so when you're doing wood grain there's no general rule you have to take the individual shape the individual colors that are desired uh, we have a series of patterns we also have a, 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 a quite a library of books that gives us a, a, a good look at what an original car would look like, irrespective of whether it's a Ford or, or, or a Packard or, or in this case, a Zephyr. Um, we're going to look at preponderance of, of the, the photography because that you'll have a car that's been wood grained mm -hmm. and incorrectly, and now you're, tr now you're repeating that mistake if you look at his car and, and clone what he's doing. So you've got to be careful about that. You need a representative sampling. and. Since I've seen them personally with my own eyes and I have original cars to look at, and if I don't, I, I've been known to fly to a city just to look at the car. Because wow. I hate doing things wrong, I hate doing things over. And that's what they pay us for. They pay us to do it correctly the first time, right. and it's got to last. And the only way you're going to do that is to be able to defend what you did by doing your research um, and, and know what you're talking about. This clearly is not original, so we're not tracking anything except we're trying to be in the spirit of the car. The car did have some wood graining on it, but it was only on the front garnish. Really? Right, and it was kind of a dull brown with a little bit of tan, so mm -hmm. we're not gonna try and reproduce that for the rest of it. We're gonna pick something that's period correct, a little bit more interesting and more in tune with the color of the exterior of the car and the interior, and, and then do it in that fashion, but do it in the, in the, in the way that it would have been done during, during that period. Sure, Okay. excellent. So the next thing we're gonna do is color sand and buff, and those pieces will be color will be shot and they'll be ready for color sanding and buffing and then we reassemble the entire affair but the dash does not come out of a car remember it's welded in in a zephyr it's or welded in so you you right. all the work that gets done on it gets done it has in to place. be done right here in the car which makes things a lot more difficult but uh, we'd rather have it out on a bench but uh yep. tony d doesn't seem to see limitations all he sees is how he's going to do it and he just does it yeah and uh so that's one of the reasons these cars are so incredibly strong and tight yeah, Even today, after all these years, it's because they're all welded together. Yeah. But it makes certain parts of the restoration more, more difficult. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that is just beautiful. So when this is done, uh, it look v almost identical to, to my 38, which is what the last one we did. Uh, and, and we consider it to be uh, the best to this point. So w that's another benefit of doing this. A fair amount of it is you get to look at it a couple of different ways yeah. and then pick the one that you think works the best. Excellent. Okay. Hey, that's incredible.